The cardiac cath for Mrs. Parker showed 100% occlusion in the right anterior descending artery. She underwent emergency surgery for stent placement. Now time has passed and it is time for the patient to be discharged. Hi, Ms. Parker. I'm Sandra, your nurse. We met this while ago when we were getting her for. Um, I've got your discharge papers here and I'm here to go over some of the instructions. Um, as your doctor had mentioned earlier, you, because you have a history of coronary artery disease and diabetes and hypertension, and also because you have a BMI of 31 and you smoke, that all that predisposes you to having um, another heart attack. And there are those things that we can change and things that we can't change. We can't change your age, your race, or family history, but we can modify your diet and your exercise and that will in turn decrease your risk factors. Um, first thing um, that we can do that you really need to do is to stop smoking. And I know it's hard, but I've got some information here about uh, stopping smoking. And the thing is that when you smoke the nicotine in your cigarettes, they dilate your blood vessels, especially those in your heart. So it's really bad and it's really important that you stop smoking. Okay, and also we have um, several new prescriptions that your doctor has started you on. You should be taking aspirin, 325 milligrams once a day, and that's not the little orange baby aspirins, that's the, th the 325 milligram aspirins. And that's going to decrease the clotting, your risk for clotting and future heart attacks. And then your next one here is the low pressure, and that's the beta blocker, and it's going to help decrease your heart rate and it's going to decrease the workload on your heart. And they did some blood work and found that your cholesterol was high. And so we've got another prescription here, and it is um, Lipitor, and it's a statin, and it's going to decrease your chances of that plaque building up and causes another heart attack. Okay? Also, there are things you can do um, like following a low fat and a low cholesterol diet and I've got a pamphlet in here that will help you make the right choices and give you some alternatives to the food you're eating now to help you make those good choices, those healthy choices. Another thing is to exercise 30 minutes a day. Even if that doesn't have to be going and working out at the, you know, with big weights, you can just go over to the park and walk for 30 minutes, at least five, six times a day. Just get your heart rate up. And that's going to help you a whole lot. Um, do you have any questions? How come I didn't know I was having a heart attack? Well, Ms. Parker, I know that in our mind we think about the men having a heart attack and have the crushing chest symptom like elephant on the chest and the pain down the arm. But women present differently. Instead of that, we usually have just back or jaw or shoulder pain or we might have a stomach ache or upset stomach. Um, we, we might just present it different. I don't have any pain. Well, I think probably that's because of your history of diabetes. Diabetes uh, causes nerve damage, and that's called neuropathy. And because of the nerve damage, even if you did have pain, you probably couldn't feel it if it was present. Oh, well, I never knew that. Do you have any more questions right now? Uh, I don't have any more questions right now, but probably when I get home. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I've got your follow-up appointment here. I'm going to leave this with you. It's your follow-up appointment with Dr. Hart on Tuesday. And you, if you think of any questions, you can certainly write them down and ask him at the, when you go to your appointment. Or you can call back up here and ask us and we'll be happy to try to answer those questions for you. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, the CNA will be in here just shortly. I'm going to leave your papers here. And she will get you packed up and ready to go home. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you.